know that monkey. Are we at a zoo? Are we in the forest? What what monkey is there? What monkey do you know runs around freely in the streets? I don't know any. Hi guys, it's your girl Cam and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. You can hit the subscribe button down below. Click the bell to get my notifications of when I upload. And you can like the video, of course. So today I'm just going to be doing a Chipotle mukbang. So mukbang. I have Chipotle here. Um, and I'm just going to be doing a like May monthly update. So just talking about whatever I want to talk about that happened in May, which as you know, is a lot. So I'm going to get the food out. I'm going to show you guys my order on the screen and then we're going to get it. So from Chipotle, chips, so loud. Obviously. And then I got guac, which I just get to eat with the chips. I got pico on the side because sometimes like the tomatoes aren't ripe and I think it ruins my bowl. And then two salad dressings, obviously, because if you don't get salad dressings with your chipotle, you're eating dry food, I guess. So that's weird. And then I just have my bowl, which these are the goods it's just a regular chicken bowl with white rice corn cheese lettuce sour cream yeah that's it and like i said i'll put the order on the screen just in case y'all want to hop on the bandwagon it looks like this it's so good but i just put the salad dressing on it depends on how much they put in this is depends on how many i use but i just asked for two just in case they're not full for the day and this salad dressing, y'all, life changer. I put so many people on, so if you haven't got it, get it. And it's a drink, I just have a Canada Dry. Do y'all feel like Canada Dry isn't soda? Like, I feel like it's healthy to drink. Mm. And then, I don't know if I wanna put these on there because if they're not, pretty good today guys and please don't clown me if I don't eat this whole thing because I usually only eat half because that's all my stomach wants to my friends out there but I just thought I'd make this video so we can talk about like the month and what's been going on number one Georgia I live in Georgia if you didn't know lifted quarantine that's a joke, Cameron Hollis not going out, still doing the same thing I was doing before because I think that's a scam. Because how are the numbers rising and we're out of quarantine? It has to be a joke. And then like our governor or whatever lifted quarantine. And then Donald Trump like the next day gets on there and says like he completely doesn't agree. A little late, sir. But mm -mm. this little thing is just a mess. And if we don't go back to school in the fall, y'all, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is so good, y'all. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't do online school anymore. Y'all know. how disciplined you have to be to do online school I remember like the first days <laughs> I was like woo online school like I can just do what I want but I was like let me be disciplined and like get up go downstairs put my computer up have my notes out yeah that lasted a day next day I was in the bed because it's just doesn't make sense to get up have notes and stuff but I'm not learning anything I feel like I didn't learn anything maybe you did I did it at all oh <clears throat> I did learn a little about public health with my teacher she's such a good teacher 
but that's only because I was worried about Corona and that's what we talked about otherwise I didn't learn anything organic chemistry it was so hard paying attention to what was going on so hopefully they decide to let us go back if it's safe obviously I wouldn't want to go back if it's not safe so if they don't think it's safe I don't think we should go back but how do you guys just think your mental health has been like I feel like on a bright side I've learned a lot about myself and I've got to accomplish a lot like start my channel again for like the thousandth time but I was able to be consistent so that's a plus because I probably wouldn't have done that if we were in school right now but then I feel like I get so down at times and like I'll be feeling like I'm not doing enough or some of y'all like that like if you're constantly not doing something like constantly on the go you feel like you're not doing enough I don't know why I get like that but I just feel like I'm doing something wrong and then like mentally y'all my mental health I don't even know it's not like the worst like I'm sure people have it way worse but mm -mm, it's just so much going on like I cannot keep up but I think it's because like you're in the house constantly but I think working out really helps me so I'll try to get up and work out every day besides Saturday and Sunday I rest those days but I guess that helps it's just a lot And I don't know how people, like, I would say I'm a homebody, but this is different than being a homebody. Being stuck in the house. I am going on a picnic with my friends tomorrow, so I can film that. If you guys want me to. But yeah. Excuse me, I just think it's so important to stay on top of your mental health. And I feel like because of this quarantine, mine just hasn't been good, but I try. Like, I write stuff in my notebook or whatever, manifest things that I want to happen. And, like, goals I have for the month. So, y'all should try that if you um, are feeling really overwhelmed and stuff. Definitely try that. And I feel like also with mental health, mental health, mental health, like okay so if you're on social media it is no help at all number one let's start off with tiktok and like the body shaming on tiktok like i don't know if y'all saw the thing like it was like post a picture of your back profile as much as little girls and young girls even like people my age people all ages like judge themselves why is there a trend going on of your back profile it's really not that deep ever and I just feel like apps like that just do no help especially in a time like this because TikTok is already like if you realize people most of the videos that go viral I think TikTok is the easiest app to go viral on because you can post one video and go viral and like more people are seeing your content but if you realize like usually like the girls that are going viral are in bathing suits or like a crop top or something where their stomach is showing and you should not have to be naked to go viral on an app but you know everybody wants to go viral so they're gonna start making videos not naked but y'all know what i mean not that it's a problem like i don't think there's anything wrong with girls being in their swimsuits or whatever making a video but that's different just already being in a swimsuit and deciding you want to make a tiktok versus putting on a swimsuit to make a tiktok those are two different things and it's sad honestly very sad but i feel like people have nothing else to do with their time so that's what they the world has come to 
And also, during this quarantine, the um, I feel like more racial stuff is happening as well. Like I'm sure y'all all know about the um, Ahmaud Arbery thing, which is so sad. And the fact that people started justifying it like on Twitter and stuff, saying that he, they have surveillance of him going into a house. Number one, the house was just wood construction being built up, not even a house. And there's no justification. I don't, a plank of wood. Number one, he took, no, excuse me, nothing from the house. And, and that's not justification for what you're doing. Like, just be so crazy that people try to bring up stuff. So you're saying that it was right that he got killed over a piece of wood? They, and he didn't even take a piece of wood. But, like, I'm just saying. Because that's the logic y'all have going on in your head. It doesn't matter. Like, what? it's wrong. And it's 2020. Stuff like this is still going on. So sad. And then... Did y'all see the thing on Instagram about the girl who was like walking with her friend? I don't know if she was working out or just like walking with her friend or whatever. And this guy started like harassing them after she had already said no, like she didn't want to deal with the guy or whatever. And the guy started following them. It's so like the girl was saying, and don't quote me, you can go on Instagram and look it up. I'm just saying from what I remember. But the girl was saying how her and her friend were scared so they finally got to a hotel and the lady let them in and they begged the lady to lock the door so the guys couldn't get in the guy not guys and it was an African American male and the lady agreed and locked the hotel doors or whatever but then like a resident or a lady that was staying at the hotel came down and said something like um do y'all know that monkey are we at a zoo are we in the forest what what monkey is there what monkey do you know runs around freely in the streets i don't know any ridiculous like the fact that she would even say that a monkey It's sickening. Honestly, sickening. And we're in 2020 dealing with this type of stuff. Literally so sad. But it's crazy that some people, you never know how people are really. And like the stuff people say in their houses. Well, they might be your friend, but you never know what they talk about when they go home with their parents. It's just sad that we still have to go through stuff like this. It's really sad. And people's lives are getting taken or whatever. I'm like, women can't even walk down the street, work out, like, do normal things without being harassed by people, like, by men. If we say no, it means no and go on with your life. Like, they be so butthurt when you say no. I'm so glad. I don't think I've ever... Yeah, I've never been in an encounter really where, like, a guy, after I said no, like, kept pushing it. But for those that have, that's really scary. Because at the end of the gate, end of the day, at the end of the day, it's a guy and you're a woman and you know, like, nine times out of ten, I feel like he's going to be stronger than you, even if he's smaller than you. So, yeah. That's what May has been so far. What else has happened? Oh! Y'all. The other day. Okay, well, I'm not gonna disclose where I work or whatever. But let's just say 
apparently people in Georgia, well, I'm not even gonna say that. Somebody said, this doesn't even have anything to do with work, but somebody was like, said this to me, that the coronavirus is not real. They were like, do you know one person who has it or who's had it? Number one, my answer to that was yes, I do, actually. And you don't just say something like that when there are thousands and thousands of people that have died. And just because your family, God bless your family, hasn't been affected, but you don't just say that when there are people out here dying. And you're just saying it's not real? I was so disgusted. So disgusted. Because honestly, I know people have their own beliefs. But to me, it doesn't just seem like the government would be paying people all this unemployment stuff like that. Um uh paying the um what's it called? I don't know what I'm talking about. Whatever, the $1,200 that everybody got. I don't think the government would just be giving out money like that for something that's fake. And the person went on to say, like, went on to say that doctors were being forced to put down as their, um, like, doctors were just putting coronavirus on people, on patients' papers or whatever because they were told to. Number one, I haven't seen anything on CNN or any um, news website say that. So where are you getting the information from? Like people just follow these informations that they see on Instagram. Like do you remember that doctor that was going viral at the beginning of this and they found out she wasn't even a doctor. So or just telling me you just believe what you see somebody post and you're not a medical official. So, you know, what makes you think you can say something like that? But when I've seen people are dying and it seems to be pretty serious, so mm -hmm. I think that's so wild. Like I could see at the beginning. I don't know at the beginning when like nobody really knew what was going on, like nothing was ever said. They just started saying like we're not like our school our spring break has been getting sended and stuff like that they never really said like why what the coronavirus was or anything like that so i could see then but girl we are girls and boys whoever's watching we are too deep into this thing to be saying stuff like this like that mm -mm. just no and i still think it's important because in my opinion, stuff shouldn't be opening, like malls and stuff, until we know how to get rid of this thing. Because if you can buy something online, why do you need to go to the mall? What purpose does that serve? But I wonder how long it's going to go on for. Like, imagine, I pray to God that it doesn't last this long. But imagine how different Christmas will be. Malls won't be the same because they'll probably have a capacity. Mm. So crazy. Came out of nowhere. Literally came out of nowhere. I miss my friends so much. It'd be so bored in here doing nothing running out of video ideas mm. oh i did order some stuff from shein guys again i always i've been ordering from shein like i'm gonna do a shein collection and a haul to show y'all like the bathing suits you can order like if you are heavier tested or whatever i got y'all that what else has been going on oh 
Oh, I feel like companies have been really supportive, like food companies and stuff. There's so many food places doing things like Krispy Kreme. Y'all know did the, well, I don't know if y'all know, but Krispy Kreme did like the senior week where they gave seniors a free dozen, a dozen. Usually it's just like one donut or whatever. But my aunt said she waited three hours for that. Mm -mm. I would have just had to wait and pay for it a different day. So I feel like the amount of gas you would spend waiting three hours, you'll pay for the donuts. Hmm. Up to you. But Zaxby's is doing like a family deal. I know Willie's, if y'all have that, it's like a um, Tex Mex restaurant. Was doing a family deal. I feel like a lot of places like that are being so sweet during times like this. And like the Zaxby's one is so much food, and it's only like. $25, I think. Such a good deal. And it feeds four. Or maybe it's $20. One of those. Excuse me. Excuse me. But yeah. May is something else. I pray and pray and pray that June is different. I'm just ready to get out the house. You know, I want to like enjoy the summertime. Go to the beach and stuff. We will see. What else is going on? Okay, y'all I am going to wrap this video up I feel like I did good a good job right most of it but I just want to say thank you guys oh oh wait 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 let me know if y'all want like a girl talk video like I'll ask y'all questions on Instagram which I did about this whether I should have Chipotle or Chipotle and y'all said well most people voted Chipotle but let me know if, so let me know if you want a girl talk video and y'all can ask me questions and I'll answer them for you guys But I just want to say thank you guys so 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 much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you want me to do more mukbangs just let me know But I will see you guys in my next video and I love you guys so 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 much Bye